My name is Chloe Anderson. I am a marine geochemist. So as a marine geochemist, I am really interested in understanding how elements, so anything from the periodic table, how they end up in the environment, how they tell us about how the environment works, especially in different ocean basins. I collect water samples, mud samples from various regions in the world's oceans, and we analyze them in laboratories for their chemistry. So we do a lot of dissolving rocks and, um, and seeing what they're made out of. So we, we are able to dissolve rock and other materials using really strong acids or, or we're able to use high temperatures to melt them into glass. And then we're able to analyze those samples once they've been melted or dissolved for their chemistry. melting and dissolving our marine sediment samples, so the material that ends up on the bottom of the ocean, we then are looking for the elements or the metals that make up those rocks and those really small, fine-grained materials that end up on the, the ocean floor. We're, we're looking at what they're made out of, so how much aluminum do they have, how much iron do they have, and other elements. And, and then we're trying to figure out where these materials came from. We also have a lot of creatures that are living in the ocean and growing and using elements, using this chemistry in the water to create shells, to live, and grow, and they also, eventually they die and they sink to the bottom of the ocean as well. And so we end up with stuff that we call organic matter. We can look at the organic matter, so all of the life that had lived and then eventually ended up on the bottom of the ocean and is preserved for a long term. But we can also look at the materials that come from the continents as well that might tell us something about how the world was working in the past, maybe even telling us something about the climate. Using chemistry and using specialized statistics, so very fancy math, we're able to figure out where materials might have come from and how that has changed through time. And so we're kind of looking through a history book of Earth's climate in the past. One of the big things that we need to start thinking about as scientists and as you know, people on Earth right now is we're experiencing changing climate is how we might see our actions preserved in the marine sediment record. Presence of plastic, the pH of the oceans, so the acidity of the oceans, we would see that reflected in the shells of the creatures that are, are constructing their shells today that are living and have to take their materials from somewhere to build their homes. We're able to see the temperatures and as they're changing. So there are several different ways that we'll be able to see in the future how humans have affected the Earth system. To be a marine geochemist, it, it does take quite a bit of, of education. So I did a bachelor's degree in oceanography. I also did one in geology, and then I did my doctorate in earth science. When I was a kid, I was like a lot of a lot of children. I wanted to do a lot of different things. But for me, the main thing that I wanted to be was a scientist. It took a little bit of kind of learning about myself to see what were the things that were really important to me and really exciting to me as a person and also as somebody who wanted to be a scientist. And 
And eventually I realized that I really loved the ocean. I wanted a job that would keep me living near the sea. <laughs> Any of these kinds of large marine geochemistry and paleo-oceanographic research projects, we might have one cruise a year. It can be really difficult to spend months at sea. It takes quite a bit of support from friends and family to say, you're not going to see me for 40 days and I'll come back and be a basket case because I've been in one place for so long. So if you've managed the pandemic okay, you probably can do a career at sea as long as you don't get too seasick. <laughs> Other people can also be scientists, especially since we're not really these people that are only in our lab alone. Science is a very collaborative profession. We work with a lot of different kinds of people and we want the next generation of scientists to come with us and join us.